one. I'm in my kitten dress. Woo! Today I'm going to teach you guys all about weaning kittens. Weaning is the process of transitioning from the nursing stage to eating independently. So if you're raising orphan kittens, you've been bottle feeding them. But eventually, once they're old enough and healthy enough, you're going to want to start the weaning process. For most orphans, the weaning process starts around four to four and a half weeks of age. But this is going to vary depending on their weight, their behavior, and their health. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my three-step weaning process to take kittens from bottle feeding to eating independently in one week. In step one, I'm going to show you guys how to start introducing slurry in a bottle. So the supplies you're going to need for weaning are going to be first the formula that you've already had the kittens on and then you're going to want the food that you're going to transition them onto which should be a wet kitten food. Um, make sure that it's a can and make sure it says kitten on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do to wean them is I'm going to start to create what I call a slurry. Slurry is just a mix of what they were on and what they're going to. So what I have started to do is actually mix their slurry in a blender bottle and then feed it to them in the way that they recognize, which is a bottle. This method is going to help introduce to them the new food and the new proteins without it being a confusing and messy process for them. First, just make formula like you usually would, but make it in a blender bottle. A blender bottle is a smoothie bottle that has a little metal ball in it and it helps shake up everything and keep it clump free. So I'm gonna get some warm water going. Make sure that you make the formula to the specifications on your product. So this is one part formula and two parts warm water. Okay, so I've got my formula and my water in the blender bottle and now I'm going to add my wet kitten food. So I'm gonna introduce about half a can. Make sure the top is on tight and then shake it. So now we've got our slurry. I'm going to pour this into their bottle. And you can see it made a very, very smooth consistency. It's almost like a naked juice, but kind of gross. Full of kitten food and formula. All right, so we're going to start with Fritter. And Fritter is about four and a half weeks old. Um, so you would want to wean them at the right age, of course. Uh, you can wean way too early and it can be really dangerous for them. So I always start uh, around four to four and a half weeks old. He's been on the bottle since he was about two weeks old, so he's really comfortable like this. But this is helping him learn about meat. The blender bottle is so awesome because it helps reduce any chunks. It's a really smooth slurry for them uh, and a really nice transition. Was that good? Refill! Jelly is the smallest of the litter. She is also about four and a half weeks old, and she is a really good bottle feeder. I love the weaning phase with kittens because they kind of have this moment of realization once they eat meat where they go, wait a minute, I am a tiny predator, and they totally become crazy. <laughs> Jelly's a little sloppy, but I promise you it's much sloppier if you try to do this in a dish the first time they eat. Meat bottle, meat bottle, meat bottle, meat bottle. Are you a predator? Yeah, that's good stuff. That's the big kid stuff. Last but not least, big boy bear claw. So you only want to wean kittens when you know that they're in good health. Uh, if they are showing signs that they're already having a hard time eating. Just keep them on what they're on. If they're healthy, between four and four and a half weeks is a great time to start. Mr. Perfect. Oh, I just want to eat you. So with a slurry bottle, you can gradually change the ratio of the meat and formula so that they become more and more accustomed to eating the new food. I usually give kittens a slurry bottle for about two to three days when I'm weaning them. Once they're totally comfortable with that, I move on to step two, teaching them how to eat slurry out of a dish. For phase two of weaning, we're going to teach them how to eat out of a dish. I recommend that you get a very, very shallow dish, something that is really, really short, like an inch short, almost like a plate with a lip. 
Another thing I recommend is puppy pads. They don't always understand what you're trying to do when you show them a dish of food for the first time, so a lot of the time they can end up walking through it, causing a huge mess. So now we're going to make our slurry. We're going to do a mixture again of the formula that they've been eating and a wet food that says kitten on it. So I don't recommend making your slurry too liquidy. I recommend making it a little bit chunky, a little bit thick, almost more like the texture of uh, homemade hummus or something like that so that they have something they can really wrap their teeth around. Don't forget that they might not understand this the first time, so you also want to prepare a standard bottle like you've been doing just to supplement. So kittens get so used to associating your hands with food that when you show them a bowl, they often uh, still go for your hands, thinking that that's where the food is. Of course, that makes sense because for an orphan, they think of your hands kind of as their mom. So they probably will understand that there's food in there, they just might not understand fully how to get it. Wow! So this is awesome. Bear Claw and Fritter are understanding it right away. Well, Fritter is standing in it with his two front paws, which is why we have the pee pads. Um, Jelly, do you understand it? So you can see Jelly's very hungry, but she doesn't understand what they're doing. She is the smallest of the litter, and this is more typical to what I would see, is them just really not getting it. So if you have a kitten that's not understanding, you can actually feed them some on your finger, because they're much more likely to understand it if it's on your hand. So Jelly's eating it off my finger. This is how I get them into the dish, is actually to show it to them on my finger, and then just gradually put my finger into the dish. So look at that, now she's in there. She's still eating it off my hand and not out of the dish. But if I keep scooping it and then slowly move my finger away, voila! This is a beautiful sight. This means you're so close to being done bottle feeding. Now if you're not sure that they got a full meal's worth, you can also supplement with the bottle still. So I did make them a bottle just in case. Jelly, did you get enough? So remember, you want them to still get a full meal. If they didn't totally understand it, still supplement with the bottle until you're sure that they're getting as much food as they need. Love you guys. You're so smart. Woohoo! The last step is to seal the deal and give them just wet food in a dish. You only want to do this when they're totally ready and they're confidently eating slurry. At this point, you can also introduce water to them. Hi, babies. Are you guys hungry? All right, so this is phase three. I'm going to put them on their new diet, which is just a can of wet kitten food with a little bit of water mixed into it. Let's see if you guys can do this. Are you ready? I think they're ready. Yay! We did it! They might still step in it a little bit. That's okay. This is why we have the pee pads. It's a little messy, but look at this progress. So in just one week, we got them from being on a bottle, to being on a slurry bottle, to eating slurry out of a dish, and now they are fully transitioned to their wet food diet. This is so awesome because once they're fully accustomed to this, they are going to be on their way to getting adopted. Remember that this can be a messy and slow process, but don't lose hope. So don't take an attitude like, if you don't eat this, you don't eat anything. There's no such thing as tough love for kittens. So meet them where they are. Don't forget, you can learn so much more at kittenlady.org. Happy weaning!